Three things need to happen to be a fundamental set of solutions. The number of solutions or elements in the set must be the same as the order of the ODE. Each of the functions in the set must be a solution and the functions need to be independent. www.mathby5s.com Oh, I love this guy. He's going to do an example. Here he has a set. That set has three elements. Okay. Um, and then the differential equation, y prime prime, prime, ha ha, that makes it order possible. Because there's three elements, and the differential equation is of order three, order matches. Now we need to check to see if each one of those three is a solution to that differential equation. It appears our writer goes out and he takes that first element one, differentiates it three times, plugs it in, and finds that zero is equal to zero. Fabulous. Now he's onto the second element in that set. He takes the derivatives of those guys, and he's probably going to plug it into that differential equation. Oh, look. There he goes. And look. It works again. Similarly, he's checking that last one, um, the sine of x, um, not once, not twice, but thrice differentiating it, plugging it into the original DE, and we'll see whether or not that is going to be a solution. Not one, not two, but all three are solutions. Now he's going to go and he's going to check for independence. Ooh, got skin in the game. He's going to check the Ron skin. Yes, he's going to line up the functions across the top row of that determinant. And then he's going to three times differentiate them down the side. Wait, one, two times differentiate them down the side. This creates a square array, which can be determinable. Yeah, well, he's going to take the determinant of the dang thing. And he hopes it's not equal to zero. Because if it's not equal to zero, then... um this set is going to be a fundamental solution set. So now he's expanding across. It appears to be that first column. Why did he do that? Because those zeros were advantageous in computing the determinant. Because it wipes out all those minors. Okay, sure. So then finally, after that, he goes and he takes the determinant of that 2 by 2 and it appears it's going to be the sine squared. Wait, wait, wait. Plus the cosine squared trigonometric identity. It's 1, a.k.a. not 0, thus independent, satisfying all three properties or conditions for a fundamental solution set. So now he's rewriting it in a nice little summary. He says the set 1 cosine sine is a fundamental solution set. Oh, he's got a further. Oh, wow. What a way to wrap it up. He gives the general solution. Of that differential equation. It's going to be the linear combination of each one of those sets. Mm -hmm. Or each one of those elements. Study. Questions.